this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here today to share a super simple shaker card. Try saying that three times fast using the adorable little bird from the June 2020 Kid of the Month from Unity Stamp Company. I've already taken that little bird. I've colored it up with Copics and fussy cut it out with my scissors. I've also die cut a window just in a panel of white cardstock. It's trimmed a little smaller than my A2 card, and I just kind of centered that window a little off to the left. This is going to leave me room to put my uh, sentiment over on the side. I kind of just held the bird up to kind of decide where I wanted it, and that's how I decided where to cut the window in my circle. All right, I'm adding that little bird tucked in place so it kind of overlaps in and out of the window and using a little bit of uh, just basic scotch tape on the back. Anything will work for that just to make sure I hold it in place. And then I'm going to add my acetate window on here. And this is going to be what's going to keep any of my shaker filling from uh, coming out the front of my shaker. So once I've got that on there, I've got a window. Now I want to add a little bit of um, ink blending behind it on my card base. So one way I like to do this is kind of just figure out where um, that lays on the card base and kind of mask off the rest. There's really no point in inking the whole background of the card when I only need kind of the area that's gonna show through that window. So I kind of just played with it to make sure that none of my masking tape was covering up any of that window. And then I could pull out again some of my new favorite ink color. This time it's the speckled egg, not the Distress Oxide like I used last week. This is just the basic Distress ink. Absolutely love this color. It's so soft and pretty. And I'm using some blending brushes and I'm just kind of going around the edges. I'm leaving the center um, not as much touch because I want to leave a little bit of a glow feeling on there. Masking this off also helps me to be able to know where that center point is, which makes it a little easier to blend around the outside. All right, now that I've got that all done, I want to go ahead and start adding my shaker filling. So before I do that, you need to make room for that shaker filling to fit. So I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive all the way across the back by trimming trimming it to fit to the right width that I need. And I've got that all filled in, making sure I have a tight seal all the way around in all the corners. This is important so you don't have to worry about any of your shaker filling sneaking out at some point. All right, now before I filled it, it occurred to me I kind of wanted to bring that color that I have behind the window and bring a little bit of it to the front of the card, just nice and subtle. So I'm using some simple post-it notes just to mask off that bird because I didn't want to mess up the coloring on that bird. But I'm going to take that same speckled egg color, um, just smoosh a little bit of it on a clear block, add a little bit of water and a little paintbrush, and just add a few flicks of it onto that front. Um, this is just going to kind of tie those two colors together a little and add a little bit of interest to the front of the card, which is kind of fun. All right, and those masks peel off nice and easy, and that bird's still nice and clean. Since I kind of decided if I'd done that a little earlier, it would have been easier to do that. All right, I'm going to sprinkle in, this is quarter inch star confetti from Pretty Pink Posh. Any fun little shaker filling that you like would work great on this. And then I peeled off all of that uh, foam adhesive, the backing, and then added another window of acetate on the back. This way, my shaker filling's already free floating in there, and it's just going to keep it um, right where I want it. Now I can add a little tape on the back of that acetate and adhere it all in place on my card front. All right, I also have a sentiment from this same kit and it's a great long one piece sentiment, but I'm gonna trim it down to kind of add a little bit more of a mixed media kind of feel um, as I adhere that in place. And I added a little bit of foam adhesive to each one of those. And then I can just kind of plan my layout, making sure to keep the sentiment in the same order. And I'm just kind of angling them and popping them up a little bit different each time just to add a little bit of a whimsical feel on there as well. All right, once that's on there, I thought I was about done by here, but then I decided that confetti filling that I had on the inside, I decided to carry a little bit of that through to the front as well, kind of going along with those ink splatters. So I just kind of snuck some of those little star confetti on there with a tiny bit of adhesive and it adds just a little extra sparkle and fun shine and ties it all together. That's it for today. Thanks so much for coming by. Have a wonderful day. Bye.